Some of you guys have probably realized that I've been a little lighter on video in the last week, and part of that has to do with the fact I was out of town, then I got sick, and then I started moving into the studio, and so I'm a little behind on some of the videos that we've been working on, namely the studio tour and the John Free video, which I'm working on right now. And uh, I am actually at the house today, and one thing I'm really behind on is the mail and the cool stuff that you guys send me. So I wanna share some of that with you guys today, so come on over to the table and let's have a look. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this package that came in the mail today, actually, and this is from Killian Kuntz, and Killian, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, uh, but it's a little box full of cards, and I wanna read part of the letter because I think this will explain better what this is. I think this is really clever and really cool. So Killian follows Zach Arias, and if you're not familiar with Zach, I will link his website up in the show notes. Uh, Zach's amazing, he's a brilliant photographer, keeps a wonderful blog, and he has, as part of what he does, this thing called the photo assignment that he that he creates assignments for. Uh, Killian entered this as a competition, did not win, in, but decided to turn this around. So what Killian writes here is, so I got the idea to use this assignment concept, designed inspiration and assignment cards for photography enthusiasts. So these are basically flashcards. So flashcards, which can be combined to a photography task. The deck of cards, you will find this letter is the final result, the bigger picture cards. I am a follower and fan of your photography work and yada yada. Anyway, Killian, thanks. These are awesome. And when you open this up, this is really, really neat. So there's some explanation intro to the cards and the format. Um, there's aperture information. And then there's conceptual stuff for composition. So golden ratio, rule of thirds, lines, diagonals, and these wonderful vector graphics that, that are put together on here along with a description of what each one of them is. And then what really gets neat are the shooting concepts that come in here. And there's an entire deck full of cards with photographs and text behind the composition basically or the idea in the card so it's everything like for instance here's gravity uh, silhouette um, shooting from the hip uh, one shot only organic shapes capturing force and anyway this is so cool the, the photographs are really nice and this is such a great way to learn how to look at photography to understand visual concepts and to get better as a shooter yourself I think this is really cool and I think Killian needs to find a way to sell these because I think this is actually something I would even buy uh, these are really cool so Killian thank you for the cards amazing stuff okay next up is this box and this came to me from Daniel Duarte and Daniel's a friend of mine I've mentioned him on the show before it's probably been a while but Daniel it lives in Boston and he and I have become friends really over the last couple of years and we've talked a lot this year and Daniel sent me this wonderful wonderful print I guess you could call it a print this is from a new series that he's doing uh, from, from a floral series actually and I want to share this with you because I just think this is so cool and special um, this is actually and I actually had to clarify with Daniel what this was because when you get into wet plate process and so like all these old types so amber types uh, calotypes ferrotypes uh, they have different names depending on what process was used and what it was printed on. And this is kind of like a tintype. This is a beautiful uh, flower image that he did, um, eight by 10. But what's cool is this is actually done on aluminum. And I guess Daniel, when I asked to clarify, it's not a tintype. Tintype is a dry process, and this was a wet plate process, but he's calling these alumatypes, which is essentially kind of like a ferrotype, but he didn't treat the metal in the classical order, so he calls these alumatypes. But anyway, whatever you want to call it, I think these, this is fantastic, and it's just a little artist proof that you sent. It was a really nice gesture and a really cool gift. Uh, and as I mentioned, Daniel is a pretty amazing photographer, too. I'm going to link up to some of his stuff in the show notes so you guys can check it out. Uh, he does pretty amazing work. He's about to start his master's degree this fall and he's going to be studying with Abelardo Morel and some other guys and he is destined for awesome things and uh, anyway I thought this was just such a nice little gift just as a token of our friendship and I love uh, we were kind of going back and forth on Facebook and he just wrote that he feels like art is meant to be shared and I think that's such a wonderful gesture with this so anyway Daniel you're amazing and thanks for the print Next up is a package I got from a gentleman named Christian Clant, who you might recognize from the comments section. Christian's a great guy, big fan of the show, and here's a picture of him in the field at work on the back of this poster here. And uh, he shoots wet plate collodion images, and he does really fantastic work. Uh, wet plate is an older photography process. Um, it's very different than what we shoot with film today, and I haven't really talked a lot about collodion on this show other than mentioning it a few times. It is something I would like to do more in depth on a, on a full episode on its own sometime, but uh, I would like to get my 
my friend Frank Lopez to help me out on that. I don't specialize in wet, wet plate, and Frank really does. That's his thing. And so I would like to have him come on and talk about the process. Or maybe we can get Christian or Daniel to come on too. They, both these guys obviously know what they're doing. Uh, some beautiful images. Um, he sent a couple posters and a book. And this is one of the posters. It says Source Wet Plate Landscapes. Um, graphic design is nice, well laid out. The typography looks great. The pictures are fantastic. Obviously, he's a hell of a photographer. Um, shooting wet plate is a lot different than shooting film. Uh, the dynamic range that you have, let me show this right side up. Um, this is the poster, it's really beautiful. I love the paper this is printed on too. But the dynamic range that you have when you shoot with wet plate is much different than modern film, as is the red sensitivity of what end of the light spectrum it operates with. And so it's, it's really a different ball game. And when you see people do this well, it really is impressive. And it's about coating a plate with your own chemicals and everything is very organic and hands-on and there's very little that's store-bought about it. And it's a process that I've always been a big fan of and years ago I really wanted to do more of and I just never got around to doing Doing it or haven't yet let's just say uh, but anyway Christian is fantastic and it, really cool poster showing off the landscapes and this is a poster that relates to the book and this is a project he has called 100 wet plates 100 words and uh, it's a series of portraits and I'm gonna read you a little bit from the back of this uh, Christian writes um, when asked in which genre of photography I'm working on I usually answer humans and stories in my eyes, the portrait of a person only becomes a good photograph when it invites the contemplator to listen to the story that the person has to tell. I think that's really cool. Uh, sometimes that is a story which the portrayed doesn't even know himself or believed in the long to be long forgotten. Really cool stuff. Uh, he writes about the project on the back. And uh, anyway, these are really neat. And this is the poster that goes along with it. And he did a ton of portraits for this project. Because I'm going to show you the book in just a second too. But when you fold the poster out. It's double-sided here, sorry. There we go, as I break it here. But anyway, you have a uh, nice plate of six portraits on one side. Really cool stuff. I'll do some close-ups um, when I wrap all these up at the end here so you guys can see. And I want to show you the book. And again, really well done. And this is something that I know you guys aren't going to pick up as much on in the video. But what's really cool is when you can tell that people put the extra mile into the presentation that they're, they're working on. And this is very simple but very elegant. I'm sorry I've already opened this and we're in the tape. But this came in the box wrapped in simple... Um, plain paper, but he has a stamp with the logo for the book on it. It's just a rubber stamp and ink print on the top, and it has a really neat effect and looks really cool. Uh, when you open this up, the book is fantastic. Um, I don't know where Christian got this done, but the printing quality really is amazing on here. Um, it's got a nice little bookmark, um, the felt bookmark that goes in there, and anyway, it's really, really well done, and I, I will show you some images in this book in a second, but it's really printed well. I love the fact that the, you know, you have the, the handwritten uh, name of each person the portrait is um, next to the portrait very simple design very elegant and Christian as you can see does some pretty amazing work I will link up to what he's got in the show notes so you can check him out highly recommended Christian is a fantastic photographer so uh, Christian thank you for sending this to me and uh, man I really dig it thank you the last thing I want to share with you guys is this wonderful book and this is from Bjorn Comhair and he sent this to me a while back um, and I'm just not getting around to it so I'm sorry about that but Bjorn is a wonderful photographer you guys probably recognize him from the comment section as well. He participates quite often. And this is a really interesting project. And he explained to me in the letter that went along with this that in his hometown of Ghent, he wanted to do a photo project around it. And as many of you know, um, sometimes in your hometown, a lot of the photos that are very popular of landmarks and places can be very touristy or trendy. And he wanted to dig a little deeper and do something different. And this is a really fabulous collection. What he did was he sent letters out to friends and family and people around Ghent and asked them if he would, if they would respond with with what their favorite place in the city was and just write a couple words around it. And he went and photographed these to interpret those quotes. And the result is this wonderful book of black and white images that, as you can see on the left-hand side, has the original text and then his photographic interpretation on the right-hand side. Uh, this is really well done. It's fantastic in the quality. Um, a very simple black and white book, but it's just really nice. Um, and he does some amazing work. And so Bjorn, thank you for sending this. I, I think this is just fabulous. Um, I really love the concept and I really like what, what you've done with this. And um, there's some amazing photographs in here. And as always, I mean, as you can see from the stuff here, you know, I put my PO box in the show notes and, you know, people start to send me stuff after a while. And the stuff people share Share with me really is amazing. It's not just stuff. It's projects that people put a lot of time and care and effort into and things that people are proud of and I'm really proud of that too. 
Uh, one thing I'm going to do, we're kind of in the midst of clearing out some bookshelves over here, but I want to have just a dedicated shelf or bookcase to stuff people send me from the show. And if you want to send me something, um, just because I can never remember the P.O. Box address, uh, apparently my address is 3100 Main Street, number 135, Dallas, Texas, 75226. Just put Ted Forbes, The Art of Photography on there and it gets to me. And guys, thank you so much for sending all this stuff. Um, I'm going to put links to everybody's work in the show notes. I hope Bjorn has a website um, that features this book. I know that he was printing enough quality, uh, enough copies of this to sell it. And uh, I highly recommend you guys check this out. And uh, anyway, I want to thank everybody again for sending stuff in. That's about all I've got for today, guys. And remember to check the links out in the show notes. I love Mail Day because it's just like I just get to sit here and show you guys awesome stuff. And uh, I really appreciate it once again. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to like it and share it with your friends. And as always, subscribe to The Art of Photography so you'll always be up to date on all the latest and greatest videos that we do here. I am slowly catching up from being behind and there's a lot of neat stuff coming this week. Um, got some film stuff lined up as well as the tour of the new studio space, which I am sort of slowly moving into this week and uh, nothing but cool stuff on the horizon. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.